I'm eating barbecue. Yummy. That's why the extra discount is worth it. I got my fanny pack on. Oh my god, you do have the fanny pack on. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, hello, welcome, my name is Grace, I'm a farm photographer, welder, and I'm a YouTuber, I guess, and today, <laughs> that was so fast, we're disking again, um, here we go, I'm going to make sure there's no, um, bird's nests in here, there is a fire extinguisher in here, though. why we disc our corn ground um 
the last video, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not too entirely sure what I was trying to explain. I, I had the right idea. Not really. Um, I explained why it's important to plant corn straight, not why it's important to plant corn on smooth ground. So we're going to try that again. As you can see here, we've got quite a good stand on our corn right here in this field. And that's because we made sure to disc it nice and thoroughly before planting. And the reason for that is because when your planter is going through the field and it's bumping up and down, your planting depth is different for every seed that goes in the ground. You don't want that to happen. It's especially important in corn to make sure that your field is smooth because seed depth is really important in corn. So whenever you set your seed depth, you want to do your best to get as close to that as possible because obviously there's a reason that you set it there, right? That's why the extra disking is worth it. It has nothing to do with harvest, um, but it has everything to do with seed depth. As you can see right here, it's pretty rough right in here. You can just see the stand here is less than desirable. So that's why it's important to make sure that your field is smooth and that's what makes the disking worth it. For us anyway. Um, obviously it's going to be different in different parts of the country and different soil types and everything but for us that's why we disc our corn ground. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me. I'm a little bit hoarse right now because I'm sick. Oh, but we're about to go. All right, well, we're watching the uh, drags right now. I got, I got my fanny pack on. Oh my God, you do have the fanny pack on. I got it on. Was, I'm rocking. I'm ready. I was just talking about you and your fanny packs. Well, I mean, I ain't got no pocket. So it's either stuff everything that I own in my waistband or just carry a fanny pack. That's the or a purse. And I'm not carrying no purse out here. Uh-uh. We got Winter out here. We're in Indianapolis at UCC. We got Brooke out here. I'll link both their channels up here. I don't know. Enough about me. We're going to go back to the drags. announcer won't shut up for like an hour now he's not gonna tell us what the cool truck made yeah for real all i want to know is what that guy's time was oh we got a second gen baby that looks like a straight farm truck where where, where back where? there First of all, I'm pretty sure that Ford went off way too early. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, second gen got whooped. This is gonna be close right here, folks. Did you see that Ford get whooped by a second gen? Second gen's been redeemed. Can't nobody tell me nothing anymore. This Ford gen, and it was a blue second gen. That was awesome. So he got a late start and he still won. What was that, a Duramax he went up against? Yeah. I guess. I didn't even look. I didn't even yeah, pay attention. Was. That was pretty cool. We we're just walking around now, checking out all the booths. Just wandering. I'm just wandering. Okay. What's up? I'm eating barbecue. Wow. Just do it really Here, quick. Here, we'll do a review. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Hi. Pretty damn good barbecue. <laughs> all right, here you go. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
All right, well, I'm leaving because I have to get home. I'm doing some stuff with my family, but. We're gonna miss Grace. Yes. And leaving my girls. <laughs> I'm At least upset. Gotta hang out the a dream team. Bit. Yeah, we got to hang out for a little bit. I was only here for like three and a half hours, yeah. but that's okay. It was worth three it because I got to see time. them. But it's not very often we're all in the same place. I'm pretty sure the last time we were all in the same place was last year at the same yep. show. Yeah, so we gotta do so. it more often. Come yeah, to Colorado. Yeah. They're coming to Colorado. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, fly, we're gonna out. fly to Colorado. That is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all my other social media accounts linked down below, and check out theirs as well. I will link those and. Check out my merch at FarmerGrace.com and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!